I think they both wanted to be clean, but I just don't think they could do it. Two brothers gripped by addiction, taken within two years of one another. Alex and Johnny Barcliffe were both 32 years old when they overdosed and died. My oldest, he actually overdosed on um, methadone. Methadone and cocaine. Everybody thinks that it won't happen to me, but it's been happening to everybody. Across the country, states are reporting an increase in overdoses and relapses, a grave reality for Cheryl and Marty Hurdle. They say their boys tried to quit for years. That day, and he was like, Mom, I just wish you'd understand. I'm trying. I'm trying. The bad thing is, is they have short-term rehabs around here. People need long-term rehabs, and they can't afford it, most of them. Cheryl and Marty say that they know they're not the only ones going through something like this. So they've created a support group to be able to connect to other families in their community. You know, I couldn't save mine, but maybe if we can make some changes and if people can help each other, support each other, maybe we can save someone else. The group was meeting in person, talking about warning signs and sharing stories until the pandemic paused that. Now they're using Facebook to connect through the weakest link anti-drug abuse coalition page. There is strength in numbers and if we can get as many people to help us in our mission, I think we might can make a difference. Every parent knows their youngins when they're not on drugs. That person is still there. Just don't give up. Head to WTKR.com for details on how to join the group. In Hertford, Aaron Miller, News 3.